Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Aini Sofia and uh, today I will present the introduction for our Jigs Fixture project assignment. We chose the sandwich jig type for our design. Uh, sandwich, jig, sandwich jig is a form of top plate with a back plate jig. It is ideal for thin parts and drilling process and the number of bushing is determined by the number of drilling holes. Uh, next, for our objective for this project assignment is to design a jig for a 150x25x6mm workpiece as you can see here in this figure and then uh, the advantages of why we choose this type of jig are uh, it applied to Kayoke to prevent mistakes that happen during the drilling process and then uh, the workpiece is thin for approximately about 6mm thick so it is suitable for this type of jigs. Uh, that's all for me. And now I pass the slides now to the next presenter, Akmal, to explain the design improvement. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Akmal Dunil Berosli. Today I'm going to explain to you about the initial design for our sketch of jigs. First, we we decide to use the sandwich sandwich jigs. Then we we put a a pin and we also want to put the screw slot for the for the locating for to push the L lock. Okay, this is our L lock. For this L lock, we we decide to uh to put it against the locating pin. To make sure we can hold hold the specimen tightly, then uh, to hold the airlock, we using the locating screw to push all the all the way along the locating screw. This is our airlock screw, which is uh, have a dimension of 80 mm and 100 m millimeters. Then we we decide to use uh, the flash washer and using both. Okay, that's for the initial design. So, so for the our for my final design, for after discussing with the uh, our team team members and consulting the lecturers, we decide to we still decide to use the uh, we still decide to use the sandwich jigs, but we we have put a. Uh, a hinge on the back of our jigs to make sure the top and bottom the bottom and top part will not be is is combined together so for the for the locking system we use we use a bolt and nut clamp uh, on the side both uh, right and left side this is it we use we also use the um, butterfly nuts on the on the clamp uh, on the bolt nuts to make sure uh, the operator can easily clamp it. And lastly, we we remove the the initial design of the L lock because uh, because it will it will make the operators uh, operators job become harder to to assemble the air lock after put the specimen uh, to start the drilling process that's all for me, thank you okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Muhammad Ifan Ashraf bin Razlan today I'm going to explain how to use uh, our project which is a sandwich jig ok, first of all, we need to open the clip lock in front of the jig and we open, open the wing nut washer and screw the beside uh, of the jig and we open the top of the part and we put a uh, workpiece in the middle of the jig make sure the workpiece is uh, put properly okay and then we close the top of the part and we put back a uh, wing nut screw washer and tighten and then we can close uh, the clip lock after that, we push, uh, we put the three bushes into the drill section, and then we can do a uh, uh, machining process. Okay.
Okay, after that we can repeat the process until 85 copies. Thank you. Okay, uh, this is our jig and picture project that come with 17 part excluding wood piece specimen. And in this jig and picture project, we apply sandwich jig concept in our project and we use hitch mechanism to lift up our top and bottom part. Okay, as we can see here, in our bottom part, it already attached with four support and this support is functional to hold out the work piece from moving. Our bottom part also come off with two locator pin as pocket locker concept in our jig project. In this project, we are using two different type of drill bush which is 2.7 diameter and 3.5 diameter. The functional of the bush is to avoid the damage into the workpiece while drilling and it also function as a slot into the drilling section. Next, we are using adjustable screw with 6 mm diameter that can rotate 90 degree to clamp the top part and the bottom part and we nail it with wing nut screw. We also apply a washer in every single section that use screw to avoid the damage into the jig. Finally, we use two clip to clip the top and bottom part to secure the jig from moving. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Hafiq Akimi Muhammad Fuzi. I will continue our present about conclusion and recommendation. In conclusion, jig and fixtures are critical components of manufacturing technology. Jig and fixtures are devices used to help with production work in industries, particularly desks that use machines. When creating jigs and fixtures, there are several factors to consider. We conclude that to complete our project, we needed to first create the perfect design. The project has accomplished the objective we set for it, one of which is to determine whether the sandwich jig is suitable for the specimen we want to create. Next, our team designed a jig, a sandwich jig, and improved the tool to make the process more foolproof for the operator. Finally, the design result is that the operation provides good benefits and produces a product with maximum efficiency. In our recommendation on this project, the sandwich jig will help our production line. Jig and features are one part important in the production lines. The manufacturing tool that guides and support the component to produce finished product with the highest level of accuracy. Next, the sandwich jig also makes it easy to conduct machine complex and heavy part components. In addition, sandwich jig can also be involved with a long shelf life. So, to produce a finished product with the highest level of accuracy will be increased. Lastly, the sandwich jig also recommends improving our product quality. Product quality is important to help companies earn customer loyalty, establish brand recognition, and manage their costs with achieving long-term profitability and sales growth. That's all from me. Thank you.